Thank you very much. Further debate, the member for Guelph. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, before I begin to speak on Bill 190, I just want to take a moment to wish all the nurses all the best for Nurses Week, and thank you for putting your mental and physical health on the line to care for all of us. I also just want to take a moment to thank legislative staff for helping us reopen safely uh, today, and a moment to thank the government and the Premier specifically for saying yes to my call to reopen community gardens, because I believe food security is so critically important at this moment in time, and people in food banks need to access the food we grow in community gardens. Speaker, I've been meeting with community organizations, unions, landlords, tenants, businesses, those on social assistance, students, and many others, and all of them will support what is in Bill 190. So I'll be voting in favor of Bill 190. But my concern is what is not in Bill 190. Nothing to expand hospital capacity so we can restart surgeries now. Nothing to overhaul long-term care homes to address the tragedy unfolding before our eyes. Nothing to address the financial crisis facing our municipalities. Nothing for people on social assistance who need to be topped up to the same level of people who are on the SERP benefit. Nothing to expand testing and contact tracing so we can safely reopen our economy. Nothing for local businesses struggling to pay the rent, which I want to remind the government can be locked out of their commercial leases on Friday, May 15th. Speaker, the actions we take today will determine what our communities look like as we emerge from this crisis. And we need to act now. We need to act urgently to emerge from this crisis with a cleaner, safer, and healthier Ontario.